and welcome back into the Better Half Hour, my favorite segment where we bring you veterans in the sports betting space to talk some shop. You've seen them crush on this show. You've seen them crush on the betting exchange. You've also seen them all over picks wise. Alex Glaze, they call us the double A batteries back in the building. Great to be with you, Alex. Thanks for having me, as always. Really appreciate it. All right, well, let's look ahead to this championship weekend. I want to get your thoughts on the early lines. Do you think they're right where they should be? And do you see any value in either that plus seven or that move in Niners plus three and a half and three? Uh, these lines are razor sharp. Um, they are sharp, sharp, sharp. But if you are asking me if I see any value um, maybe a little bit is in the uh, the Bengals plus the seven. If you think that could be a shootout, if you think Joe Burrow and that Bengals offense can hang, um, I mean, while Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase are exciting, I would tell people that remember the Titans also sacked Burrow nine times. So uh, think you definitely have to consider that when you when you're looking at this game. But if you're asking if there's any value, I think there might be a little there. But I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm interested in taking that uh, that those seven points. How about on an overall note, right now the Chiefs are favorites to win the Super Bowl at a little over plus 100. I saw them at plus 125, depending where you shop. Rams second, Niners I think four and a half to one, and of course the long shot Bengals. Have you thought about firing on any of those? Or if you haven't, what would you recommend to our viewers? I think if you're looking at one to, to fire on that – Maybe he's a little bit of a, a long shot, not, you know, the Chiefs or Rams. I think the Niners. Um, I know we're going to get into this uh, later, but uh, the Niners, uh, Kyle Shanahan, they've, they've had success against this Rams team. You know, for as good as the Rams have looked over the past couple of weeks, this Niners team is tough. They're going to be a tough out. Oh, without question. So when you look at this Bengals matchup, you see they're 6-0 and against the spread in their last six of three points or more. They won the 34-31 shootout outright against the Chiefs just a few weeks ago. Do you factors, factor those kind of things into your decision-making on plus seven or swallowing the seven? Uh, you can look at that. Um, for me, I, I look... I don't know. I, it's tough. This, this game's tough. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to pick a side. What I'm looking at in this game is the total. Um, and that total has been climbing. You know, I think it opened at 51. Now you can probably find 54, 54 and a half. So that thing is, is, is going up. Uh, I, people are expecting to see points. And given how, you know, that Bills Chiefs game looked, I know that uh, this Bengals offense isn't at the same level as the Bills, but they can put up some points too. And they have a lot of offensive weapons that the Chiefs defense is going to have to figure out. How about moving over to the NFC? Of course, a team going against each other that have danced twice this year. Niners won twice. Actually, Shanahan's won six straight against McVay. Do you factor that in when you have that kind of one-sided affair on round three? Absolutely. And it's not only that they have won six or that, that Shanahan has won six straight. It's how he's been able to do it. You look at the game that they played earlier this year. Uh, this is a Rams team that was up 17 nothing, and then ended up losing that game in overtime because the offense stalled out. And what did we see from this Rams offense just this past weekend? They stalled out. They they had the Bucks dead to rights and then just allowed the Bucks to creep back in this game. And that's just what they've been able to do. That's what they've been doing all season. They just can't put teams away. So you, you can't do that <laughs> against the Kyle Shanahan team because – this is, uh, they'll, they'll make you pay for it just like they did earlier in, in the year. That's for sure. All right, so how about, and I know it's against our better judgment to do this, but I'm curious because one line is heavy on the juice with the money line for the Chiefs. Are you going to flirt with a parlay trying to predict the Super Bowl with these two games on Sunday? <laughs> a parlay, a parlay. I don't know if I'll do a parlay, but I am considering a tease. You, tell me, tell me, how does this how does this tease lose? Bengals plus thirteen, Niners plus nine. How does that lose? I don't think it does. I think that's gorgeous. Would you consider going the other way, Chiefs to win outright? And I know it's kind of against gambling rules, so to speak, the unsaid thing to go across as a favorite and get a couple of points. But 
Rams getting three, maybe three and a half. You go six and a half. Chiefs to win outright. Can I convince you on that one? If you believe in Matt Stafford and if you believe in Sean McVay, then I believe that that would be perfect for you. I don't know if I am there yet. I might be able to get there by this weekend, but I don't know if as of right now on Tuesday, I'm there yet. Well, good thing it's only LeBron Taco Tuesday around here. You got a few sleeps to, to rest on it. All right, let's get you out of here with this. Your best bet for the weekend could even be a prop if you're feeling one of the players. Yeah, it's actually funny you bring up a prop. Um, I'm looking at Odell Beckham's receiving yards prop. Uh, it's 50 and a half right now, and I still don't think that that's priced correctly. I still don't think he's being respected enough um, as the Rams' number two option. This Niners defense, uh, the weakness is their secondary. They've been playing well over the past couple of weeks, but that's still the weakest part of this defense. Um, and he's gone over his receiving prop or receiving yards prop in back to back games four receptions for 54 yards against the Cardinals, six receptions for 60, eight, 69 yards against the Bucks. Um, in both of those games, he had receptions over 20 yards. So, Odell's a legit number two target, and Matt Stafford trusts him. So if you're asking if he can get 51 yards, I think so.